everybody. Thanks for joining me today. This is the manicure we're going to be doing. Um, this is a Valentine's Day theme because Valentine's Day is coming up in a couple of weeks, so I wanted to give you guys some time to learn how to do it, and if you need to get supplies to do this one, um, you'll have time to get that together. But this is the look we're going to be doing today, so stay tuned, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So first what I have is a base coat of Wet n Wild Wild Shine in tickled pink. And what I've done is I have, I have a single coat over the whole nail, and then I've actually just put a second coat just on the outer half of it because I'm going to be putting red over here later. And I don't know why. I guess two coats would be fine too. I just don't like to layer mine too, too thick. So that's what I did. So in case you see the, the shadowed area here, that's, that's why it looks like that. I'm going to be stamping using Conad plate number M3, and we're going to use these hearts up here at the top. And then we're also going to use Conad Special Polish in Psych Pink. I believe that's what this one is called. Stamping method is the same as always. If you'd like a detailed tutorial of that, I have some earlier videos that you can take a look at, and it'll give you the exact but it's all, all pretty standard. And I'm going to stamp these hearts on the outer edge of my nail, pressing and rolling, and there they are. If you have a larger nail and you want to stamp some more at the top, you can do that too. In fact, I'll try to fill in some of the empty spaces. Using a couple of them from the top, we'll fill in the bottom just a little. And then I'm going to add a couple at the top. Sorry, my finger's going out. I just have to line it up a little bit. There we go. And then the easy way to clean off your cuticle is to use a cotton swab with nail polish remover or acetone. This is nail polish remover because since it's not black, I'm just using the regular. Okay, and then next what we're going to do is we're going to put in the red. The red polish I'm using is this Express Finish and it's called Crimson. And I'm just going to very gently, and I don't even want to go all the way to the half mark, but I'll go pretty close to it. And trying to stay away from my cuticle so that I don't make a mess, I'm just going to draw a line and fill in some red down the side. Okay. So now I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to stamp the rest of mine and then I'll show you what the next step will be. Alright, now that I've got the red on, and the red isn't quite completely dry yet, but I am going to be doing another step that I'm going to have to let dry, so I want to show that to you next. Um, I'm going to be applying some China Glaze Fairy Dust, which is a microfine glitter. Let me turn that upside down there. And I'm going to be applying that just to the part of the hand of the nail that's been stamped. I'm not going to glitter all the way across. And I don't want a heavy glitter. I just want to give it just a little bit of glitter. So I'm going to apply the glitter just to the side of the nail that's stamped. I'm just going to gently brush a little layer of it. And it's, it's not that big a deal if it overlaps a little, a little bit, but we want to try to keep it just on that side. Let's see if you can see that a little bit. You can see just a little bit of glitter. You see it a little bit more in person, um, but there we go. But you get the idea. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry, and then we'll go to the next step, which will be the white dots. Okay, now that we've let this dry a little bit, we're going to move on to the next step, which is the white dots. What I've done here is I'm just getting a little post-it note, or you can have a piece of paper or something like that, and I'm going to use this for putting down a dot of this um, nail art paint. It's like a striper paint. And what I'm going to do is just take a, a drop of this and let it drop it onto the paper, and then I'm going to use um, my dotting tool. And what you do is you just gently dip the tip into the paint and then I'm just going to touch it down and make a dot. That's really all it is to it. And I'm just going to make these little dots going all the way down the center line 
where the red and the pink meet. And there I have my dots. And then what you'll want to do is you'll want to let it dry just a little bit before you put any top coat on because you don't want to smudge these. So you'd let it dry just like you would let dry any layer of nail polish that you would put down. Um, but that's, that's really all there is to that. Okay, so my dots are dry. I'm going to go ahead and put my top coat on my sesh feet and then it will make those dots look completely smooth with the polish with the rest of the polish anyway here's the completed look I hope you guys like it I hope you'll try it out for your Valentine's Day coming up here in the next couple weeks and um, I hope you enjoy it thanks again for watching have a great day bye bye